Hi guys, this is Arif from TechShare. Today I'm going to show you how can you add your own component using Helix um, solution. So in the first article, or you can say the first video in this series, I showed you how can you, uh, I mean, basically I showed you the installation part of uh, Sitecore 9.3 with Helix. So I showed you how can you install the Helix solution and also Sitecore 9.3 platform along with Helix and then I showed you how the basic website is uh, configured with that automatically using that installation and the repository I also shared with you. So today I'm going to go with that and I'm going to complete the second part uh, of this series. So that is basically um, adding a custom component in the existing basic website solutions uh, that is basically configured in Helix. So this is kind of an extension. So if you want to uh, jump start uh, with your um, you know implementation then what you can do you can install site code and you can also install the basic website helix solution and then you can extend from there so let me show you what we got before so here you can see let me go this basic company website and then in the home page you will see this is the website we got and we also have the Sitecore, Sitecore 9.3 uh, installation along with that. So here you basically, you know, that was there by default, you know, um, uh, kind of a configured website we got. And uh, this is the web, this is the repository for that. So we also got this repository, you can say the source for that basic company website. So those were completely maintained, or you can say the pattern or practice, uh, practice they used um, the concept of Helix. So we are going to extend that. So my intention is, for example, to add a new kind of feature here. So you can see here, there are four features already configured like home, product, services, and blocks. So this is kind of the by default um, implementation. So there is nothing fancy or nothing you know big inside there, but just kind of a, uh, heads up or you can say the summary or the standard practice uh, you know that you also need to follow if you want to add any new feature along with this so this blog I recently have added so I can show you this one or I can actually create a new feature from the scratch or from the beginning and I can show you that and that would be really you know helpful for you guys so yeah I mean so what I did here you know I uh, have added this extra feature called blocks so you know you can name it any anything and if you click that, then you can actually go to that details. Because I, I haven't you know, put anything here, uh, any item or anything, but yeah, what you can do is you can actually uh, do whatever you actually need to do. So now what I'm, I'm gonna do is I'll create a new tab here called uh, maybe, maybe news or something. So let me give you some context about the, about the solution and uh, that have got so you can see this is the different different layers that i already explained before so please if you don't understand you know uh, or you can say this is if it is your very fast video then i would recommend you in the description i'm gonna put the first link as well of this series so just go there and check that out first and try to understand grab all the knowledge about this uh, sidecore helix and what is that what is the platform practice pattern and everything right so what i'm gonna do now is just to add a new tab called um news okay so the idea is any kind of news uh, you know company-wide news or some sort of thing we are going to publish or you can say the content author is going to publish in a in a certain interval so we are just gonna facilitate that thing a kind of a new feature so what we're gonna do is for that so let me go let me jump into the site core and you can see here this is already pre-configured stuff we got it everything you know, I also have explained that on in the first video. So just jump there if you just, you know, don't get that point or some sort of thing. So what you need to do is I explained before that in this project template, right? So in the project layer, sorry, in the template project layer, project layer is kind of your container. So it will only give you the site wide, you know, container. So whatever you need to add, you will actually add as a feature. So in the container, you can see here, we have all the different, different containers. You can say, for example, the blog is kind of the paste container, block paste container uh, for this one, actually. Then you have this, uh, for example, this home page is basically this home page container. So it doesn't have anything, only the home page and some basic, uh, you can say, footer and header uh, 
rendering so it doesn't have anything so if you need to add then you need to actually uh, you implement that in the feature so i'll show you that one so just use that one so you, what you need to do is the idea of this repository or you can say the project uh, provided by sitecore is you know you will uh, you know you will easily start off your solutions what you can do is you can actually follow the existing pattern so for for that what you need to do is you need to create right click in the insert and you can set the new template right so then uh, we are gonna name this one as news for example next okay and then what we can do is we will go and we'll put a uh, image for that so so that it looks a bit you know different i can say the fancy so let me let me select on maybe this one okay all right so now we need to understand that okay what we are going to uh, add here so we are actually going to add a container nothing else so for that what you need to do is you need to you need to first uh, think okay we need to use this news as a paste container so what you need to do is in the project and then you will see you just need to use this for example the space so it is already predefined kind of thing so you can use the, that on as your uh, inherited template so that all the page related you know item and all the necessary field and all the information you will and also the definitely rendering you will get it automatically and also if you want to support the the navigation then you can also add that but navigation is not navigation is kind of a separate uh, feature it is not a kind of you know um, container so navigation is a kind of feature so what you need to do for navigation you need to go to the feature and then there is the navigation feature what you need to do is you can actually uh, use this navigation item so the navigation item will give you uh, your you know navigation top navigation or different navigation you can say okay let me save that so yet we did not change anything in the code so what we are doing is we are just adding some sort of you know uh, data data structure or you can say data template for our new feature all right so another thing we're going to do is um we'll use this uh, standard values so the main reason for this is this um, this uh, uh, rendering the standard rendering that we're we're going to get through that is if you go here this presentation details then you're going to see that you already have this header and footer that is basically coming from your uh paste template that we actually inherited right in this news all right so news is already there right as a paste types so what you need to do is in this basic company tenant website in the home what you need to do you need to you need to uh, configure uh, or you can say you can add you need to add that uh here so for that what you can do is first of all you can go this configure and you can say this assign so that will give you um the insert option so it's better always to use this insert option and then you can go project and then you can select this um this new page for that so news double click okay okay so now if you right click then you will see news okay just click news and the news is, is kind of your first so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to uh i'm going to move this on a bit down further down actually the last one okay the save that one and then i haven't done anything yet just i'm creating some items right so um how do, hey, okay so in uh, other thing you need to do later part is you know uh, we can also configure the project uh, to use the unicorn so that uh, you know this item will be serialized and you can actually ship in that repository further uh, to maybe share to other developers or you can say share to other people so that will that is also something you know automatically you know the project or you can say the repository is already configured that way but if we if we need to create a new project then obviously we need to add those configurations unicorn configuration so that your item will be you know recognized by the unicorn system so the news is there and then what we're gonna do is we'll, we're gonna we're gonna preview that awesome so you can see the home product service block and the news so for that we haven't done anything we haven't written any code but what we did is we just 
you know, try to, you know, use the architecture that is, you know, we've got out of the box with this solution. Awesome. Okay, now, now we need to, we need to have, we need to have our feature now because the new container is ready. So container we got through the project and uh, we now need the piece of information like what we actually need in the news section. Maybe we need to have some sort of, you know, news header, news content, who actually, you know, written this news, this kind of thing. We need to, you know, extract or so we need to, and I expose this kind of little information in the site code as a data template so that people can you know put that in you can create people can create the news somewhere in the content tree in the site code and we just need to show them here so that is basically my our feature or you can say my intent right now to to implement so for that first and foremost what you need to do you need to go this feature and then in the feature what i'm going to do is right click add a solution folder and name it uh, news awesome and then in the news section right click and if you see the structure right so this structure is um, let me go uh, the folder structure because this is something really really important to know so in the in the source folder in the feature and then what we need to do we need to create a folder called news okay in the news, or you can say the blog, whatever we have is, this is the website, right? So in the news, we also need the website. And then in the website, just grab this path. And then in the news, so what we need to do, right click, new project. And then we need to create a sp.net web application. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use the same template uh, or you can say the same kind of structure or template that Sitecore used inside this solution. So for that, what we're gonna do is we are going to use this sp.net, um, okay. Now name, project name, project name would be your company name and then your feature layer and then whatever the feature you're going to use here so for example our company is basic company sorry dot basic company dot feature dot news and then the path the path is very important so we'll use this path website right and we're gonna use dot net 472 create and we are going to use the mpc as well so you are going to use empty mpc and then just simply create that. Awesome. So now there is one problem. You'll see. So in that website, there is another folder, Visual Studio, automatically created for us, which we actually don't need. So for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this project from the um, save it from the solution, and then I'm gonna grab this all folder and then paste it on level up here and then i'm gonna delete this folder i don't need this folder okay and then now add existing project yeah you will know yeah you will definitely know there are some other way to do this uh, you know easily but you know i really don't care so this is just something i, I need to complete yeah so uh, these two folder i'm gonna delete because we don't need this one. and then controller view global.sx don't need that on as well and this package.config file also I don't need. And then this web config file, what I'm gonna do, this is very important. If you forget this one, then your total web solution will be messy because your site code will be completely broken because that is gonna update or override the existing web config file. So you have to make sure that it is, you know, action as build action none. And not only there, you also need to take care um, this view web config as well, the same kind of thing. So none. So basic, uh, you can say the empty website, news website. So yeah, Helix, everything would be kind of website and that will be part. I mean, website will contribute to your solution by 
by adding some resource or some sort of thing. So this is the idea in, in Helix. Okay, so now on the website, what we have is we have actually nothing. So what we need is we need um, some sort of, uh, you know, controller and view rendering so that, uh, you know, we, you know, we give some sort of, you know, presentation uh, in, in our in our uh, design so you can see in the the main feature we are going to implement here is this news right so here we actually need this uh a little 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 kind of information about the news okay so we're not going to you know implement a very big uh, chunk of feature because that's not gonna uh be happening by this uh, little amount of time but what i can do is now let me refresh the site code and then what i'm gonna do is what we'll do, we'll use the existing project and we'll put some sort of presentation here. So in the view, um, uh, what I'll do is I'll actually add a controller. So right now, um, let me let me create a controller folder. Okay. Uh, so if you compare here, so we have these controllers. So actually, we need the, the same kind of thing, controllers. Yeah. Mm. OK, it says already exists. So let me let me let me select this one and just include these controllers here, include this project. Awesome. So now I'm going to add a new controller controller. So I'll I'll name this one as uh as my news controller okay so news controller okay and then you can see this news and then in the news controller uh i just need to list down all the news and then once i click each of the news template or you can say the new news item then it will load the news so that is details news so that would be kind of a master details kind of view so for that first of all i need the list or you can say list news okay and this this list news would be your your view so new view and then we need to add a partial view for that. So create a partial view. The view name would be list views. And for now, I'm not going to uh, give any model for that. So just add this one. OK, my scaffolding is taking a bit time. I don't know why, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> so why? taking a bit time okay anyway so now what i'm gonna do is we're gonna give uh so uh, this shared this shared layout and this view start i really don't need this one let's delete it and this content really don't need it delete it okay so there you go this is the news and then in the news um we also need the template right so for that what you need to do is go here template and then this time we're going to expand the feature because the project layer we actually have done everything we really don't need anything here in the project layer but in the feature layer we need some sort of um you know the feature related work we need to complete so for that insert template folder we call it news and then in the news we need the template so for that how do you okay give me a template news item i can say okay. news item done and then um what we'll do is we'll actually give it a, a icon as well so maybe this one i uh, know this one i have used probably okay, let's put this one yeah so in the news what we'll do what we're gonna do is we'll use the news template so for example news title so news title and then just put it as a single line text and then 
it's the news content and this time it's going to be this text and then maybe news author for example single line text so this one we also need to add would be better news image uh, news header image for example this one be a image field save that one and i actually would like to this one to be moved to the uh, first place here save this okay so you can see the news is there already done configured this template but uh, this news uh, we also need this news to be you know displayed as a as a detail space uh, so when we will create that item, we are going to use this template. So for that, what we'll do is we'll, we'll add a, uh, uh, here, what we'll do, we'll add the template here. So for that, click this one and then go to content. And then as we did before, what we are going to do is we'll expose this news item as a page as well so for that i'm going to use the news and also we will also add the navigation for this uh, news details item so this is i'm just doing randomly doing okay so maybe in the real scenario we're not going to do that but yeah here we're doing this one once we do that and then what we'll do is we'll configure this one as a standard values so that uh, the presentation everything will be placed automatically here uh, presentation details would be this header and footer so set that on so the news template is already ready so what we need to do we need to grab this news item um, in the code so that we know the id and all the details field id everything so for that what we need to do is we need to copy these templates paste it here go here and this is news just reuse the same thing and the item id would be this id news item id replace this one and then the title this is actually the news title and news title would be uh, this one okay all right so we have all done so once the the template is ready then what you need to do is you need to so you have already the controller news controller so in the news controller what we need we need to actually read all the news so for that the idea is you have this news folder here sorry the news page item here so here in the news what we will do is we will configure this one and assign our news template here so for that feature news news item so that way you can actually add your news item so for example news uh maybe sample news one okay so this is a sample news where you have a news header image a news title so maybe a header image would be maybe this one whatever okay and then news title and uh, okay the navigation title is your navigation title so uh, just let me open one more time yes save this one no problem so this is the navigation item we have added here in the feature navigation uh, so that's why so this is fine right so in the news we have this uh, title would be i this is a sample news title and i'm not going to put anything here maybe the author i'd say mdr fusion okay. so we'll go and we'll duplicate the same same thing and then we'll say this is a sample news too uh, maybe it's say md x x y z and there's a sample x 
while safe news just to you know just to make sure that we are not using the same kind of data that that will not good if you run this apl application or example and say true navigation title okay okay now so the news is ready so news itself has a presentation now so if you for example go and uh, open this preview then you will see the news item itself can render and give you something although you can see this is the news you know this is basically selecting the news uh, tab but we are actually uh sorry let me open this one yeah this is fine news is news but if you even open click this one then you can also even you know you know browse because it has a small presentation so we'll fix everything so now what i want to do is the we actually need to put something here uh, so that we can we can uh, whatever the data we put here in that item we just need to show here in the website in a in a slightly you know uh, beautiful way but for that you need to add or create your own css and everything what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same reuse yeah because i'm not a designer or something I, i'll just give you the idea so what you can do is you can actually yeah so you can actually use the same thing so in the blog so this is the list and the controller so the controller itself it's saying that anything in the current context item so you are in the current context item means you are actually inside this news so you are going to explore the news and then the uh, context item would be news and all the children under that context item will be your news item you just need to grab those items and then you need to show somewhere in the website so this is actually the code for that so this is for blog but we are gonna just uh yeah we're gonna reuse for our uh rendering context is here and then item manager be system data manager and we just we don't need this one here there is nothing like that so this is called news and we can say this context would be the uh, news news root item and this news root item all the children belongs to that we are going to send to our view which view this list view so open the list view the list news actually so see the list news so list news we can grab the same data list news as soon as possible we have the data we can copy paste here and then what we're going to do is we're going to this is the this is the little parameter for image so you can you can do whatever you you need to do here and then in the model model contains the news uh, so each news we can say each news in the model what we are going to do is we are going to pass that because the uh, news list uh, news for example so what we are going to we are going to you know pass the data to the partial view so for that you just need another another view here so for that just uh, name it list views okay create a partial view and then we'll say um, list news add okay I'm not, I'm not sure why it is adding keep adding this one but i really don't need that one uh, delete okay so so i have this one and i'm passing this list uh, you know list news for our each item of the of the news and then in the list news we just need to display it in this way in this fashion copy paste this one and then what i'm gonna do is uh yeah so basically this image option this is this is no, no longer needed here save this one okay so this would be my news and then uh yeah so this templates is already there so what you need to do is um just get rid of this namespace that should be fine and then it would be news 
and this would be news header ms okay and then here get rid of this uh, one until templates and then this one as well and then it would be my news title and my news author okay save this one so what we so far did is nothing just just give give some sort of presentation so that we show this thing so now we have this one ready so what we'll do is we'll just rebuild this one and uh, once it is rebuilded successfully, and you can see this is successfully rebuilt, so we can publish this one. But before publish, we actually need that presentation. So we need to create a presentation, uh, or we can say we need to create a rendering for that. So this, you know, list news rendering. We need to use this list news rendering in that, uh, you know, in that news um, item, or you can say the standard template so that uh, template standard value so that you know we can see that so for that what you need to do is you need to go here in the in the rendering section of your so this is your layout and then rendering right so in the rendering um sorry here you need you all already have this layer right so in the feature layer we are going to create a new rendering folder called news you have to maintain the same same you know uh, pattern or standard otherwise it will it will just break the existing pattern helix pattern so it, please don't do that so in the news we need to create a controller rendering for that awesome so in the control rendering um uh, just uh name it um yeah i mean you can say that control rendering maybe we can say news rendering For example, this blog, we say blog list. Okay, so here you can say, uh, just let me put something here so that it looks a bit better. And then in this controller, we need to use the controller. So for that, we'll use fully qualified name. So fully qualified name is this uh, news dot controller. That is my controller here. Uh, news dot controllers um, dot news controller and then comma uh, this one this is my assembly name okay and save it and then we just need this action so action will be list news okay save it so now my rendering my rendering is ready we just need to tag it here so if you go here your feature uh this news item right so in the news item uh actually not here so we need to go your project because we are going to use it, it in the paste container it's not each of the news item right so here in the standard values go to your uh presentation details right and then edit and then what you need to do is you need to add your um news here and okay so we you actually need the placeholder so if you see the placeholder so in main main you know basic company placeholder if you open this view this is kind of your uh main layout file so in the main layout file you will see it has three placeholder header footer so header header and footer we already have used in other places but the main is something that would be kind of dynamic placeholder so i mean dynamically added all the component will be it should be added here so select this one so this is part of your main and save this one okay let's save this one right so this news is part of my so this this item is actually using this template news template so if you now um, publish and preview then you should see uh, okay at least we can see some error so let me see what is saying so it is saying that okay we need to publish because we, we haven't published yet so what we need to do is we need to so what we did actually we did change only in our new project this one um this uh not block sorry this news right so go just do one more time rebuild so that you know we are pretty sure that everything is fine and then what you need to do is we need to build it so for that right click publish publish and then just let me create a publish um 
profile quickly uh, file system file system and then the path would be my root path so the root path here is my root path uh, here you go this is the path copy this one and paste it here next and then i'm going to make sure that this publishes debug mode so that we can anytime uh, debug the code awesome so that is there so now if you refresh it's gonna take a bit time pretty sure because we just published okay just hold tight and see how we get okay so let me collapse everything and just give you some idea one more time so we haven't done anything in the project layer so what we did in the project layer is in the in the um, site course side but anyway uh, we actually if we need anything then we'll we'll add here in terms of your js file or any other thing that you need for that particular you know container but for now we really don't need anything in the feature layer what we have, have added is this news news okay so the container is ready what you need to do is just to you know uh publish everything there so um yeah so another thing i'd like to show you is this one so for example if you need anything any 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 dependency in you know di kind of thing then it has also supported for that so for example if you see or expand on of the project then you see the service configurator so in the service configurator you will see uh, basically you will see this little configuration here so you can see the configuration structure as well so app config include and then feature so you have to maintain that on as well so here you can see this um, config file tells the uh, sitecore service client that anytime if you want to boot then bootstrap then also consider our you know assembly as well so it will give you it will get all the you know um uh, all the thing from your project and it will available that on in the di container so that you can anytime uh you know get the instance as necessary okay so this is pretty easy here. what you need to do is just to grab all the thing and uh, just you know go through uh, each of the project and see how it works okay so it is now loading uh I can see some error. Let me see. All right. So what I what I need to do is, as I told you before, that um, here um, we just need to use the fully qualified name because somewhere uh, you know we are getting some anonymous um, templates uh, type in the in the foundation layer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that it is using my you know project templates okay save this one and then just need to publish one more time okay and then refresh this site core and once it is refreshed then what we'll do is we'll again browse this news item and see okay so that should definitely work but before that let me yeah because it's already over maybe 30 minutes or so so yeah so the idea is you're not going to mess your feature or your work with some other things so what you need to do is you need to make sure that the the current uh, helix solution that we are using we are actually maintaining the same same layer same standard that it has okay so yeah your your container would be part of your project so project itself a container so all the serialization everything will be part of there and also all the actually all the styling css and everything will be part of there as well and the layout file and then for your project a specific pro project will contain your specific serialization your specific resource your specific um you know controller and everything right and the foundation layer is like your utility layer you can see the helper layer so basically all the little little functionality you can see here this is part of the foundation layer so if you need a certain way to returning data if you need to extend or you can say uh, if you need any extension kind of thing method or anything you can do that in the foundation layer and you can literally literally call that and use that one in the feature layer okay so all right so let me see yeah it is loaded now so if i now go home and then this new site publish preview then it should appear 
uh, with some uh, little information. Okay, so just wait a bit. Now in the news, news itself, news itself has the child item, right? As a news. So this is not a good practice to, you know, add thousands of items or you can say sub items or child item in an item because that is going to take a lot of time for site code to load them so that's why uh, they have this uh, item bucket so if you see this products it has a list of products but they use a bucketing and you know feature inside that product so maybe i'll show you how can you bucket those items and that way site code will treat those items as a single item that would be really fast and you can actually use the solar as well to you know store all the information or you can actually you really don't need to do anything else you can even use the rely on the site core item bucket itself and in the item bucket the only problem is if you want to retrieve a single item then actually you need to search that item and then you need to grab that from there and then you can edit that item and you can definitely un, un, you know item can be bucketable but you can definitely revert back but that is not recommended at all okay so this is an, okay you can see the data is loading so you can see this is a sample news title and then this is a sample xyz news so that way for example in the in the news tab we are not going to give a lot of data just a title and the name and then when you click that then it will actually load with your details the details section i haven't completed yet but what you can do basically is for example now every little item is also renderable because it has the layout so for example if you click then it will not break it will actually try loading loading the the item itself so for example if you click that okay so it is loading now you will see an empty uh -oh. uh, okay okay it's not loading most likely the layout okay let me see the layout here so for example this sample news on let me see the presentation details okay it has uh it has the presentation details details okay actually we did something something mistake maybe so let me open the template and then in the feature the news so this is our feature news item okay news item itself has uh, uh sorry so this is the mistake i did so that would be your your um your project and page so i actually mistakenly use the news so it would be project and the page so that would be there okay and then if you save this one okay and then in the standard values details right this is now fine and then if you now uh, go to pre publish uh, publish and preview and then if you now click still not working the sample news one um, presentation details let me preview ah yeah so publish and then preview yeah you can itself uh, you can actually click this uh, individually you can load but I guess the main problem we have is um, the path itself so when we say news sample news on so it is not properly maybe okay so what i'll do is i'll publish and see how it goes okay so in the publish publish site smart publish uh, yeah let's do that
cool so this way let's open a incognito okay news yeah this is working see so it's working see the url is working but yeah the definitely the details content we can actually you know because the context item now is sample news one so this context item has all the details it has the item title item you know body and everything so whatever you actually need to do you can do it do it here so you can actually get rid of the navigation item template as well so that you know or you can actually use your javascript and you can pop up this then you can use the existing news you know this one and then you can actually pop up some some data there as well i mean this is totally up to you i think i guess uh, it is now quite clear for you guys how can actually you add a new component entirely with that so using this one what i'm going to do next is you know i'm going to create some sample product and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect to the site commerce so that you guys can so see this is already there see so what i'm going to do is um i'm going to I'm going to give you some example and then how can you actually connect this data to Sidecore? Uh, but the commerce is that's different. That, that's the later part. But the next video, what I'm going to cover is uh, let me let me see. Let me see. Okay, so install and integrate Sidecore commerce with this. So that would be my my second um uh, sorry, third uh, uh discussion, but maybe here I, I would like to discuss the item bucket first. Okay how can we add item bucket inside core and then i will go from there because that actually makes sense uh yeah so bye bye have a good day and let me know if you have any question and i will put in the, everything in the description don't forget to ask me any question don't you know just um give me give me a shout if you need any help or any kind of thing and also don't forget to subscribe my channel see you soon bye bye